You know, you never could think they would shut down a Division One football team. The hurt, the, the anger, the pain. A lot of my teammates, along with myself, you know, we, we cried. You know, we cried because we lost a brotherhood. We're here in Birmingham today to find out about how a few local leaders and a whole community completed one of the greatest comebacks in sports off the field. In 2014, UAB's football program was shut down due to the increasing cost of upkeep, leaving stunned players scrambling for potential transfer options. I wanted to transfer, I wanted to give up on football. I even had spouse of depression when I thought I wasn't even gonna finish school. It's bigger than this, man. It's bigger than what you think. It's not about numbers, it's about families. Traditionally, Division I football programs are supported through alumni and fan donations. But in this case, UAB would need almost 50 million to keep the football program competitive. Hey! In about four hours, hundreds of University of Alabama Birmingham students rallied on the campus green. Putting that uh, that UAB jersey on every week is awesome, but it's not about the UA, it's about the B on there. Everybody got that this was more than just a football initiative. This was a citywide economic initiative. People from all walks of life began sharing and responding to the news. Fundraising at UAB, you could say, is very much on the rise. It was a monumental shift in the way we had raised money before. We had people from the community that were involved in this process making gifts that we had never experienced at UAB for athletics. Phone calls and emails have been overwhelming. The show of support has been overwhelming. I think uh, Birmingham has found its soul through this process in a, in a sense. And Brigham's influence combined with UAB's efforts and the fan support all led to one fateful day six short months later. As of today, we are taking steps to reinstate the football life of the moment. Yeah! Yeah! I got a phone call from a um, reporter at West Kentucky because I had committed there. And the first thing he asked me was like, the football program is back, so what you gonna do? I didn't believe it. I was like, it's terrible, I was happy. The giving UAB experienced in the time since that announcement has been unprecedented and will cover operational funding for the next several years, other athletic initiatives, and practice facilities they believe will rival those in Conference USA and all other peer institutions. Giving in Birmingham is sort of part of our DNA. Being here in Birmingham, we all like a sense of connection. And this football team connects all of Birmingham from the east side to the west side and the north side to the south side. As it turns out, the effects of the football team's return will go far beyond a thrill for the fans. It means a fresh start for UAB, the economy of Birmingham, and a second chance for the dreams of student athletes like Shaq. The only thing left to do now is play ball. Yeah.